Things you've never heard about the Sally Field. Sally Field is a two-time Academy Award winner for her performances in Places in the Heart and Norma Ray. For her title role in the latter, Field earned a mantle full of acting honors, including the New York Film Critics Prize, the National Board of Review Award, and Best Actress at the Cannes Film Festival. What's not to love about actress Sally Field? The Hollywood veteran is beautiful, talented, able to make us both laugh and cry, and not afraid of aging. While oodles of ink and pixels have been devoted to chronicling the two-time Academy Award-winning star's career, we did uncover a few tidbits about her that might come as a surprise. Here are some details of her career that may come as a surprise to you. Number one, she turned down the role of Loretta in Moonstruck. For what would become the acclaimed romantic comedy Moonstruck, Field was director Norman Jewison's first choice for Loretta's female lead. Unfortunately, Field dropped out of the project, and she played artist Daisy in the comedy film Surrender, co-starring with Michael Caine. Meanwhile, Cher took the Moonstruck role, and she won the Academy Award for Best Actress upon its release in 1987. Number two, her Oscar acceptance speech spawned a lot of parodies. As she won the Academy Award for Best Actress for Places in the Heart in 1985, Field said to the audience, I can't deny the fact that you like me. Right now, you like me. Often misquoted as, you really like me, this line became infamous through parodies. In the film The Mask, Jim Carrey's character performs a spoof version of this quote, while the actor Albert Brooks, after missing out on an Oscar nomination for the 2012 film Drive, she tweeted, and to the Academy, you don't like me. You really don't like me. Number three, she fired her agent for saying she wasn't pretty enough for movies. When Field was hoping to leave the world of TV and become a Hollywood star, one agent told her she had no chance. In her speech at the Simons Leadership Conference in 2015, Field recalled, I told him, I'm not going to do any more TV. And he said, well, that's ridiculous. You can't do that. You can't get into film. You're not pretty enough. You're not good enough. Field fired the agent on the spot and went on to become a major star of movies. Number four. She won an award for her gay rights advocacy. Field is a vocal advocate for gay rights, and in recent years, she has campaigned for the Equality Act, which would outlaw homophobic and transphobic discrimination in every U.S. state. Field was presented with the Human Rights Campaign Ally for Equality Award by her openly gay son, Sam, in 2012. Two years later, Field wrote an open letter about her experiences as a parent. Why would anyone want to prevent my son or anyone's son or daughter from having basic legal safeguards like family medical leave, social security survivor benefits, or health insurance, she wrote. It doesn't make any sense, but it won't change until people speak out. In her environmental advocacy, Field was arrested at one of Jane Fonda's climate protests in front of the Capitol in 2019. Number five, she worked in a textiles factory to prepare for Norma Ray. In Norma Ray, a tale based on the life of the real-life union organizer Crystal Lee Sutton, Field plays the titular factory worker. To get a sense of the arduous hours, Field and her co-star Bo Bridges worked in a real textile factory. The scenes, too, were filmed in a real factory, the Opelika Manufacturing Corp in Alabama. Number six, she walked away from a plane crash unscathed in 1988. In 1988, Field, her mother, her then-husband, Alan Greisman, and their 11-month-old baby were in a private jet taking off from Aspen Airport when the plane suddenly lost power. It crashed into two stationary airplanes and the tanks broke, covering the passengers with jet fuel as they sprinted for the emergency exits. Amazingly, no one was injured, with the airport operations manager telling the Associated Press that Field's escape was absolutely a miracle. Number seven, Sally Field landed her first big role when she was only 18. Fresh out of high school, Field nabbed the lead in the TV series Gidget, which debuted in 1965. The show was canceled after only one season, but by then, Field was so popular with TV audiences that a new sitcom was created for her, The Flying Nun. Initially, she didn't want to take Sister Ver trial, as she believed she'd never be considered a serious actress, but her stepfather wouldn't have it telling her that if she didn't, she might never work again. Number eight, she used to play a flying nun on TV in the 60s. At the age of 20, Field had already won producers' hearts while starring as a teenage surfer in Gidget's single season. When this comedy was canceled, the same producers devised The Flying Nun, a new comedy to keep the young star on the ABC network. 
But while Field loved working on Gidget, she hated the Flying Nun. She thought the script was so silly that she wanted to turn down the role of Sister Burtrial. She was persuaded otherwise by her stepfather, Jock Mahoney, Western star and Tarzan actor, who told her she might never have another show business shot. Number 9. Field's memorable Academy Award acceptance speech for the 1984 film Places in the Heart is still often misquoted. Upon accepting her Best Actress Award for her role as a 1930s Southern widow trying to save the family farm, Field said, I can't deny the fact that you like me. Right now, you like me. That's what she said. Unfortunately, she's often misquoted as having said this instead. You like me. You really like me. Along with devoting time to work and family, Field has lent her voice to many causes for peace and human rights and has served on the board of directors of Vital Voices a global women's leadership organization since 2002. She is also a mentor to young film directors and actors at the Sundance Institute.